Hello and welcome to the Mixop demonstration series where you can see live demonstrations for real users and real world applications. For more information about our products or to schedule your own live demonstration, just give us a call or visit us at www.mexop.com. This video demonstrates the premium configuration of Visual Mill 2016 being used to program a part using 5-axis continuous swarf machining. Without further delay, we invite you to sit back and enjoy the demonstration. The next thing is, once you got all of these sites programmed, you would want to cut this trim to relieve the material in here, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the ways you could program this would be using a method called Swarf Machining. So you can use 5 axis and Swarf Machining. And you can pick your wall surface and then you can specify the curves. Now for the curves, I can go ahead and click on a flat area and, or I can do a surface boundary in here. I can just pick that surface and create a surface boundary. So that basically creates the boundary in here on the surface, right? Now for the wall surface, I'm going to pick this as the wall surface. And for the floor, I'm going to use this curve we just have created in here as the curve and now we can also put in a gout check against all of these surfaces so you don't want it to gouge that surface right that's just a support block what you have for this part is that correct yeah, yeah. okay and now what's critical in here is you want to check the wall surface normal you can see it's going towards the inside you want to flip that and now you can specify the cutting parameters and then generate it so this would basically give you a swarf machining tool pack. as you see it right there you can also specify your entry and exit parameters of you want it to be I could say vertical line or tangential line you can give it a distance in here and create it right there and now if you take a look at this tool pack there's your 5 axis between curve finishing and then we want to go into the 5 axis swarf machining tool pack so that was the between curve machining and then finally we want to do the swarf machining in here and there it is. You can see that it uses the side of the cutter. That's the swarf machine. Can also we can do a uh, um, finish, a uh, circular finish with that tool, I mean with the ball mill instead of that, I mean let's say we're doing um, a finished cut on, on the, on the react, I mean on the pilot. We're doing the finish, finish, finish tool pad, mm -hmm. but trying like a spiral, spiral finish. You can do that? Yeah, so basically you want to go around the part, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, like a swarf cutting operation. So you would basically do a 5-axis in this wall machine. So you pick these surfaces. And you can see that most of the surface normal except the first one or oriented incorrectly so I'm going to say flip all and then go back and check the normal orientations so now the normal orientations look correct so you got to verify the normals and now you want to pick the curve parallel to the curve you can select this curve right in here 
and in the cutting parameters you specify these parameters right in here or you can say determine and then you can choose the tool for it what tool would you like to use for your cabal mill yeah okay yeah, that should give us a tool but so I haven't specified any gout check parameters other than the drive surface so you can see there's a tool There it is. So let's go to the simulate tab and let's take a look at it in here. There you go. Yeah, since I didn't select these surfaces, it's just doing the two side surfaces for now. And then it'll go around all the other surfaces. So it's doing a retract and a transfer over. Now you can see it's doing all the sides, the back side as well, for the selected surfaces.